I'm a fan of hope. Listen to Psalm 62. My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He's my fortress and I will never be shaken. Find rest, O my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from him. Hope energizes our faith. It gives you strength. It gives you stamina. It gives you courage. It carries you and other things can't seem to help you along the way, especially in difficult times. I'll give you my last decade. Ten and a half years ago, my wife Diana became obvious that she had some unique neurological disorder that was uh, threatening her existence. It took us three and a half years to get a diagnosis, and then when she had passed, the pathology report told us it was the wrong diagnosis. Five and a half years ago, she passed. You don't expect it in your 50s. Due to the care for her, the lifting, etc., I had done some irreparable damage to my back hip, needed a hip replacement, and then eventually a complete reconstruction. Uh, a couple surgeries, not that much fun when you live alone. And then January of this year, I taught the doctor ministry program and directed that, and we finished up. In, in January, I hit four countries ended up in a hospital in Western Australia, diagnosed uh, with viral sepsis, four and a half days in intensive care, eight days in the hospital in another country. I believe in hope. Hope sustains you when other things feel like, why are we even doing this? Or you have too many questions that have no answers and you want to blame. The time-worn adage says, when you're going through hell, Keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. In this season, hope's one of those things that energizes your life, your faith, your spirit, when other things don't. It's not religious. It's strength, courage. It's hope. Listen to how the psalmist wraps this up. He says, one thing God has spoken, two things I have heard. That you, O oh God, are strong, and that you, O oh God, are loving. Two things I want to leave with you. First, there's always more hope than you know. Find it. Press into it. There's always more hope than you know. And secondly, it's always too soon to give up. Find your hope in God. His strength, His power, His profound love. I'm a fan of hope.